Hi there, I'm Chimo Yebilama. Yes, the coronavirus has dominated the news for several months. This virus that started in China has, at the time of this recording, claimed over 15,000 lives. Now, and there, and there were well over 200,000 cases. And there are two words I believe God has given me concerning this season of this pandemic. And it's from the story of Joseph in the book of uh, Genesis in Egypt, when Joseph was in Egypt. You see, I feel there's a word from the Lord for all of us through the story of the global famine that Joseph and the people faced back then. In the light of the present global coronavirus care, just like the virus, that famine was something that affected every part of the known world then. The Bible says that all the world came to Egypt because the famine was everywhere. That verse actually says, because the famine was severe everywhere. In my opinion, the severity of that, this particular global situation we have with the virus is not so much because of the threat it has to our life, uh, but more from the fallout effect it will have on our economies and our day-to-day -day lives, like we're already experiencing in many countries that are on lockdown. So the first thing I feel God is saying is that God is in control. Just like God was not taken by surprise by the global family back then, he's not taken by surprise by this coronavirus. God is in control. That this is it's, it really encourages everyone who is a follower of Christ. Your father is in control, all will be well. We follow all the health recommendations, but we do not fear. The number two thing is that God has a plan, and this is a time of opportunity. Just like at the time of Joseph, God had a plan for allowing that famine. In the same way, we, we, we saw how he used it to work in the lives of his children back then, Joseph, family, and the Israelites. In the same way, God has a plan for allowing this virus now. I believe he has a plan to save many souls through it, but he needs you and I to be like Joseph, who was his instrument, for accomplishing his purpose then. I encourage you to ask God to show you and use you for, show you what he wants to do and to use you for his purpose now. One of the great desires I believe God has through all of these things happening in the whole world is to bring people to Christ. Hi there, thanks for watching this video. I want you to do four things before you go away. Number one, click on the subscribe button here. And then number two, click on the bell button. That will allow you to get an alert every time we post a new video. And we're posting new videos, edifying interviews and edifying words every week. Number three, please leave a comment on that. Let us know what you think, whether good or bad. And uh, lastly, share this channel with your friends. Let them know that something is happening here. Thank you for joining us. Keep coming back.